Hey everybody, I'm Elissa. Most people call me E. I am the owner creator at Cozy Creations. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Cozy underscore creations. Cozy spelled with an E. Um, today I think I'm going to show you, show you how I ship items from Etsy. I had a friend who asked me um, how I ship items and so I thought, well, I've been wanting to make videos for a while now and put them on YouTube, so I might as well go for it. So um, today I'm going to show you how I list, I'm going to list this um, and show you everything and how I set up shipping profiles and everything. And then I actually have an order for a scrunchie that I have to ship out today. So um, I'll be getting that ready to go and showing you how I do everything step by step. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the not post notification button so that you get notified every time I post. Um, my plans are in the future to start doing um, videos for my patterns. Um, I have a bunch of, not a bunch, but a few free patterns on my blog, cozy-creations.com. Again, cozy spelled C-O-Z-E-creations.com. And so um, I'll link that in the description and you can go check out. I have a few free patterns and a few paid patterns. My goals for 2020 are to get more free patterns and start making videos so you guys can see how I make them. Also, ignore the tape on the glasses. My two-year-old had butted me when he was messing around and they broke and I can't see without them. So I need to go get an appointment to get new ones, but for now they're taped. So just ignore it. So I normally take pictures on my phone and then, um, I have an iPhone 6, it's nothing fancy, I take pictures on a white sheet by a window, um, you don't need anything fancy to start. My goals eventually are to either get a better iPhone or a camera so I can start taking better pictures, um, but for now I just use my iPhone 6. Um, so first thing I do is obviously I make the items, um, then I take pictures of them, um, then I try to take... you. One thing you want to do on Etsy is take good pictures. You want clear pictures and good lighting. You want the colors to look as close to real as you can. Um, so don't edit too much. If you need to brighten the picture a little bit, edit the background, that's okay. But don't edit too much. Um, you know, it's you want your pictures to show what people are going to get. You want people to, when they get your item, it looks exactly like it did in the picture. You can see my son running around. <laughs> So I um, I use the Etsy seller app on my iPhone majority of the time to upload um, listings. Sometimes I, I do it on my laptop, um, but since I take all the pictures on my iPhone, it's just easier to do it from the app. So I'm going to do a screen recording and then show you how I do that.
Okay, so I use an old school shipping scale that was my grandma's, um, but you can find them on Amazon. I'll probably link one below. But you're going to need to weigh your item. This one is about two and a half, two and a half ish, three ounces. Um, I always round up and then add an ounce for packaging. So I'm going to put four in the listing descriptions. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about packaging a little bit. So I use poly mailers. I use these for real small things. Um, they are four by seven inches. Um, I normally put like if I sell scrunchies or like one or two scrunchies will fit in here. Um, earrings, just like whatever small stuff I'll put in these. Um, then I use these plastic poly mailers for bigger stuff. These are 9 by 12 You can get them off of Amazon. They have a million colors and prints and everything you can pick from. And then I always include a business card. Right now I'm out of my regular business cards. Um, I normally order business cards from Vistaprint, but I'm out right now, so I just created this on Canva and printed it on cardstock and um, cut it up. Easy, simple, free. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to pay for the cardstock and the ink, but it's like super cheap to do this if you can't afford business cards. This to print does have really good prices, but if you can't afford business cards, just print some for now. Like, they don't have to be perfect, they just have to have your information. So, I do that. Um, I do include, um, most of the time I wrap them in white tissue paper. Or I, wrap my items in white tissue paper and then put them in. Um, I'm out of tissue paper right now, but I just get the cheap $1.38 tissue paper from Walmart, um, wrap them in it, and good to go. Um, then I normally, I write a handwritten thank you note in every single one of my packages that I send out. Um, that's just nice, it's sweet, um, it makes your people feel like they're buying from a real human, which they are when they're buying on off Etsy, which is one of the awesome things about Etsy. But, um, I get these thank you notes from, um, Ashley from A Crafty Concept. If you're signed up to her newsletter every Wednesday, she sends out wrap labels and they're free. Um, you can download them and print them. And then I download them, print them on cardstock, cut them up. This one got messed up, but, and then I just write on the back of them and I write a little thank you note. Um, so that's how I package. I'll show you how I package this here in a few minutes. Okay, so here I have Etsy open. You're going to go to Shop Manager. I'm already logged into my account and everything, so then you're gonna go to Orders and Shipping. So here I have my order. I'm gonna blur it out a little bit so that their address isn't on here. Um, but you're gonna go over here, get shipping label. So, you come over here, these scrunchies are super cheap, so one ounce, I mean super light, one ounce. For some reason, it always changes my packaging information. Like, I have it set to be a 4x7, and it always changes it. So I go back in, I change it um, to make sure it's correct, and then it's going to say 296. I'm going to review my purchase purchase and there you go so then we're gonna go here we're gonna click print shipping labels your label is gonna be right there um, if you have more than one you can click more than one and um, print two at a time but I only have one right now so I'm just gonna print it so my computer my laptop I've got paper like I said I normally use labels but I'm out right now um, I'll link the ones I use though Okay, so we've got our labels printed. Um, then what I do is I tape it onto um, the front of the package. I'm just gonna use regular tape right now. Um, packing tape works best if you don't have this peel and stick labels, but I'm out of packing tape too. I'm out of everything if you can't tell, <laughs> but I'm out of packing tape, so I'm just gonna tape them as best I can. Um, and then I will Normally wrap it like I cut a tiny piece of tissue paper if it's something small and I put it in my package um, I add a business card Add the business card 
and then I cut a thank you note. So I write a little thank you note. I normally say, um, thank you for your order. I truly appreciate it. I hope you love your scrunchie. Um, and then I sign it. Um, I don't know. I do that for every order, but I put it all in there. I package it all up and then I tape the label on and then I take it to the mail and it's done. Um, if you live where you have a mailbox right outside your house, you can just put it in your box if you only have like a few orders. Put your mail up or your little flag thingy up and then um, ship them. I live out in the middle of freaking nowhere. I don't have a post uh, mailbox by my house. So I go to the post office. I just drop it in the box if it's small enough. If it's bigger, I take it inside and give it to them. And then you're done. And it goes, it ships. You're done. It's that easy. Um, I know a lot of people, when they want to open an Etsy shop, that's one thing that they're afraid of. Is they don't know how to do shipping. So they don't want to open the Etsy shop because they don't know how to do shipping. So I hope this video helps some people. Um... If it, if it does, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm hoping, like I said earlier, to start putting out more content, more video content this year. I have an Instagram. I do try to post a lot on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram. Cozy Creations. Cozy underscore creations. Cozy spelled with an E. I'll put it in the description. Um, I'm also on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook as much as Instagram because, let's face it, Facebook's dead. I'm just kidding. It's not dead, but... Um, I just like Instagram better. So, yeah. I hope you all have a great day and thanks for watching.